Hello. So in this video, we are going to be talking about precision versus accuracy. So it's sort of a quick recap just so that we're sort of on the same sort of terms when we use these kinds of terminology. So precision versus accuracy. So precision, this has to do with how sort of specific that we are. Um, it's sort of easy to confuse being specific with being accurate, which is why we're talking about this. But for example, I could say pi is 3.2186243. Like I, I give a whole bunch of these numbers. That would be very precise, despite the fact that that's not actually true, right? Pi is 3.1415, blah, blah, blah. So uh, the, the difference here is that, you know, you can give a lot of digits of accuracy that aren't accurate, right? So we want to use the term precise instead to not confuse those. Whereas accuracy, that's more about the correctness. And again, this also goes both ways. You can be sort of accurate without being precise. So we could say something like the first digit of pi is three. And that is true, right? So that is accurate. It's just not all that precise. There's a bunch more sort of decimals that follow it. So that's not very sort of helpful if you need those other digits, okay? So the main place that this comes into play is really when we're talking about things like graphing. So graphing, we can have a curve here, right? And we can sort of pick a general point, like maybe we're interested in like local maximums or something, which should be a point like this. But the thing is, is that if I'm looking at this graph, even if I have sort of you know, tick marks along the X line to show sort of where roughly these numbers are, I might come up with a number like that's roughly 293 or something like this, right? But the thing is, is that that's sort of me eyeballing it and in sort of guessing roughly what it is. So it's possible that it, it's sort of vaguely accurate in the sense that it's sort of close to the right number, but it's not very precise, right? I can hope for at best sort of a rough approximation of what it's going to be. And this is sort of an important part about graphing and why graphing sort of is useful for some stuff, but not everything and why we want to use analytic methods to have things like precision. And that's something that we'll dig into a little bit later. So what did we talk about? Precision and accuracy. That was really it, right? We wanted to sort of make the distinction between sort of giving a lot of information, a lot of decimals worth of uh, sort of an answer, right? So sig figs, if you do sort of other science classes, that's where this kind of thing shows up. Um, so you can have like a lot of decimals and that would be a lot, that would be a very precise answer, but whether or not that's an accurate answer is sort of a different, a different thing. And likewise, you could give an accurate answer that doesn't have much precision, which may or may not be useful as well. Okay, so that's that. Thank you.